Hey guys, happy Saturday. Thanks for coming in today, everyone. Thanks replay viewers for watching and thank you YouTube viewers for watching as well. Uh, YouTube viewers, if you'd like to watch live and join in the chat, you can join me on Periscope. Just download the app to your phone and search for Penguin and Fish. I'm here every night at 9.30 p.m. Central. So we are just about done with block. 74 here. We're done with all the sewing. It was really fun last night to do the bias strip and the triangle. So check out uh, the YouTube page, Penguin and Fish Movies on YouTube to see that. Tonight, all we're going to do is pick out some cute little buttons and sew them on. Um, I'm going to flip you around and we'll get started for the night. Hey guys, thanks for coming in tonight. So here we are. Block 74, uh, like I said, all we're gonna do is find cute little buttons for this. Uh, I, I brought my button bin out and we can kind of dig in there and see what we got, uh, what looks cute, and then we'll just sew those on. And I think that's all we're gonna do tonight. We'll keep it nice and short. Uh, then you guys can go chill and have a nice rest of your Saturday evening. Um, all right, I'm gonna flip you around and we'll look at buttons tonight. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery patterns and kits. I'm the author of Sew and Stitch Embroidery and a fabric designer, and I'm here every night at 9.30 p.m. Central. Uh, we're working through the Splendid Sampler Quilt Along. We are almost Tomorrow is new block day, and that will be the three quarters uh, done. Oh, hey, from Houston, you're at Market. So cool. Uh, International Quilt Market is going on right now. It's a trade show uh, where uh, all the new designers uh, release their new fabric, and you, all the new gadgets come out and all that. So if you have a favorite... Uh, a favorite local quilt shop. Be sure to check them out in about a week when they come back from quilt market because they will have a whole pile of goodies. <laughs> and uh, if you Google uh, quilt market right now, I'm sure you'll see a whole pile of, or use the hashtag uh, quilt market on Instagram and you'll see all the happenings there. I'm not there this year. I'm here, uh, which is just fine. Um, but all right, let's get cracking. I'm gonna flip this around and we'll pick some buttons. All righty. Here we are. Quilt Market is super fun. It's, it's uh, a trade show, so it's just for basically industry folk, but, um, you know, a lot of it's on uh, Instagram and Facebook and all that, so you can see all what's happening uh, at the same time as everyone else usually too. So, all right, here is my little button basket. Uh, I have this little Tupperware. I think it's, um, you know, this might have been, been for embroidery or something. I have a little fleece top that I put on it to kind of hold everything in place when it's shut so I don't um, sew down on my buttons uh, crossover. I do have it crazily organized, it's kind of funny. But so, you know, these are kind of buttons and these are buttons from shirts and all that. And, um, you know, I got some cute little colorful buttons. I'm kind of leaning towards these blue buttons. Um, so just to, to go with our whole blue thing. If we found like some yellow ones or something, that'd be kind of cute. But I'm gonna just pull a bunch of these out because I think this is kind of the direction that I wanna go. Hopefully I don't unorganize them too much. I think we wanna go kind of little. So let's, I'm just gonna start putting them on as we go, like this is a good size, I think. That's pretty cute, that's a little more purpley. Here's an example, this is, gosh, that's awfully a cute color. I wonder if we have some like that, but a little smaller. So I am gonna be using this blanket, or this quilt when it's done, on the bed, so I wanna make sure that I can um, stitch it down right to the fabric. Oh, that's kind of fun. I think this is too big. I think those are getting a little crazy here. You know, that's kind of simple and sweet. I kind of like that. Oh, we have a pair. We could do something like that. A pair, I mean, they're kind of floating up a little bit. They're more for like coats or something like that. Um, so maybe, I think I kind of want ones with the, the holes in them. Ooh, this one's cute. This one still has 
This one still has a shirt on it or something. Let's take that off. All right. So that's kind of a similar size and a cute color. I kind of really like that one. That one's not bad. Got any greens? Uh, I'm not sure I do actually. I, I have no idea why I have all these blues and all these reds though. Um, there might be a greeny kind of blue in here. Oh, look at the square one. Oh, that's cute. That would go with all our kind of little squares that we got going on. Oh, I kind of like that. There's a green in the red spot. Oh, I know. That's that's uh, just one big big old green one. I think that's um, that's a little much. You know, a gold one might be kind of cute too. I'm just gonna pull the rest of these out. Oh, this one has a little square going on. Um, a little mini square in the inside. We could go like gold though, like the white centered. Yeah, so like a square, like this white centered thing kind of. But you know, a different color like a tan or an orange might bring in some of these other colors. But you know, I don't know. I kind of like our blue theme we have going for the basket, but let's just try one more like yellowish one, see. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of digging this square one here. It's just for the heck of it. Oh, that's a crazy button. Look at that. Look at that thing. Oh, we don't have any other reds in here, but I thought it was cool. <laughs> so, all right. I think um, the one on the left. Yeah, I think I'm going to play with, I'm, I'm going to try and find something like this. This one's close. It's not as fun, but it does have that square in it, which I think is kind of cool. I wonder, oh no, I was thinking maybe it was just like this on the other side, but it's not. Got a few more guys in here. Let's see. I really like this color too. Buttons, buttons. I don't do much with buttons, so it's always kind of funny to pull them all out. Oh, look at this cute button. This is a cute little button here. I gotta use that for something fun. I don't know. Not for this, I don't think. It's a little small, but it is cute. Oh, yeah, I mine used to be all jumbled in here, and then, I don't know, one day, I don't know why, decided to dump them all out and organize them. And I've just, uh, like I said, I, I have this fleece that I put on top just to keep them from getting mixed up and stuff. And so now, now that it's organized, I'm trying to keep it relatively organized. They're almost out of here. They're hard to grab out of here. All right. Well, I think that's all we got for those. So let's kind of dig around in here, see what we got. I still think these are the ones in the running right now. This blue's kind of fun though. That's a nice color blue. I don't think this. Make some big jars. You know, we could go like dark blue. That's kind of fun. A dark blue and a, I don't know. There's something kind of cute about these two together. I don't know why, but I just kind of like those. Look at this big fun button. Could go right in the middle if we wanted, but I think we'll stick to the design and just go there. You know what? I'm kind of liking that. I don't know why, but this is, it's kind of shiny and it's super, super plain. Here's this one, um, so you can see a little closer. So it has that little, it has that kind of square. It's got that a little bit of a square shape. I don't know. I like these two. I think I'm going to go with these two. There's something just silly and bright about this one. I think we're going to do that. This one's pretty close to this one. Oh, maybe not. Nah, I don't like that one. All right, I think that's it, those two. I think they're super sweet. I think it fits with this a little bit. Same size. Done. Let's get all these blues back in here. That green guy can live in there too. Only one green button. I must have gotten those red and blue buttons from somewhere. I don't I don't know why I would have specifically a lot of green oh, a lot of um blue and um red buttons. I don't remember why that is. Alright, but there we go. I do like kind of using all these fun silver buttons sometimes. I don't know. I like, you know, the ones that have you know, cool little symbols on it or something, or like I like like this one super cool, like these old crazy buttons. I gotta come up with something. Like look at this one, it's got like gold in it. <laughs> I have to come up with a project to use all these. They're kind of fun. I, I like all these shiny ones. 
But alrighty. You kind of want to make more of this black. This black was so much easier than it looked, I think, which is kind of kind of neat. So there, I just keep it like this, and then it can move around everywhere, and they won't fall out because I got that little little mat in there. But okay, let's sew these on. I think I want them just like that. Don't have any square white ones. I don't think so. All my white ones are kind of um just they're just from t-shirts or not t-shirts, but um button-up shirts. So I don't I don't think I have a I don't have very many unique white ones. Which is kind of a bummer. So I do have a lot of white ones. So all right, I'm gonna just uh, thread just this Aurafil 50 weight. Uh, thread. This is what we've been sewing with. I just got this teeny tiny needle, giving it a little test. So I'm not going to do anything all that special for this. Like sometimes when you sew button on, buttons on, you want to leave a little bit of a gap. Um, what is that called? You're making like a column underneath it and that's what um, gives it like the thickness of like the wool coat or something that you're sewing it on. Um, but we're not going to do that. I want mine right up against the fabrics. I'm just going to tie tie a big old knot here. We're going through a lot of fabric here, so I'm not going to worry about this knot coming through. Let's see. All right, we'll come up at about there. Oh, yeah, I forgot that this isn't really attached here either. Oh, you finished this one today. Oh, and the pumpkin bonus. That's cool. I, I haven't been doing any of the any of the bonus ones really. Oh, this is like a really thick button too. It's kind of cool. Oh, a shank. That's that's it. Yeah. Um, it's uh. So what you normally do is put a um something thick like uh, I'm gonna grab a pin, but more like a toothpick. So you'd put a toothpick right on top and then sew your button on. And then when you remove the toothpick, you can pull the button up a little because you made space with that toothpick. And then all the threads underneath, you just go around and around and around them. And that makes like the shank, which just makes it a little taller. It's like putting a button on a column. So it has um, some space in between the fabric and um, the coat. And that's what allows for the thickness of, you know, the coat fabric. But again, I'm just stitching this directly to um, the boop, directly to the block here. And I'm just gonna go do a bunch of crisscrosses through through these um, through the holes. I'm not sure if that's totally the right way to do it or not, but you know what? It works and that's what we're doing. No right or wrong way. But yeah, if someone says that there's a right and a wrong way to sew on a button, they're probably referring to that whole um, making that shank thing. Like, oh, you need to do get the toothpick and do the little shank on there. But that wouldn't be that would be the wrong thing for this block. This is a cute button. I kind of love this button. I must have gotten these from like a, a uh, like a quilt shop or something. I remember there being a quilt shop that they had a whole, what was it? Almost like a um, a trough, like a, like a that people use for planters and stuff now, like a like a a trough for like a cow or something like that, um, filled with buttons, and you could you know, pick whatever you wanted out of there and, you know, a certain amount for whatever. And I think I, maybe that's where I got all these red and blue ones that could be, or I don't know, maybe I bought a little canister of, I'm trying to just guess where this hole is. Um, I might have just bought a couple little canisters of red or blue or something. I don't know. For some reason I got a lot of cute red and blue ones though. All right, I think that's enough. I've just gone cross-stitched over that a few times there. So I'm going to just kind of weave in the end a little bit and tie a knot. This needle's pretty small. All right. 
right, just wrapping around a few times, kind of like a French knot, and pulling it tight to the needle and then pulling through. Cute button number one, and then I'm just, you know, weaving it in one more time. All right, let's skip that. I may have enough here for, um, I think I have enough here for the other button, so we'll do that. But look how cute. Oh, I love it. And it totally adds something to it, this block, I think, with the buttons. Um, that's a good question. Did anyone see what, uh, was there any clues for tomorrow's block? It is new block Sunday tomorrow, and it is block 75, which is crazy town. That means we are, uh, three quarters of the way done here, people. That's kind of nuts, right? Um, three quarters of the way done with our hundred splendid sampler blocks. Here, we'll just come up first. Kind of crazy. 25 more blocks. Although it'll take me a little bit longer, I'm thinking, uh, to finish the split assembler since I am uh, currently 18 blocks behind. I know it has, you know, it has gone really fast, hasn't it? It feels like that now. Um, I was, you know, I've said this before, but I remember like panicking at how many blocks there were to go yet when we were on like block 15 because I laid out, um, you know, I laid out three rows of five and I was like, oh my God, that's so many blocks. And then, then I had the, uh, then I was like, oh my God, when we're done, I'm going to have 10 rows of 10, not just three rows of five. And I like panicked at how big of a job that sounded. You know what I mean? Like that just seemed really, really daunting. Um, but wow. Yeah. I mean, we're almost at that 75 point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mine was at a number 11 too. So mine was done a long time ago, which is kind of funny. That's good though. Cause mine probably took, took a little while for people to do. So, <laughs> uh, they have the rest of the splendid sampler to finish it. I think there was a break. Oh yeah. There was a break between Christmas and new year's. I think, I think that's the only really real break or maybe they said, yeah, I don't think it was, there was a Thanksgiving break. I think it was just like Christmas and New Year's Eve time. So yeah, so maybe I'll, uh, that, that'll be good. Maybe I can get a bunch more of these finished. All right, I think I've gone around this uh, plenty times, but oh my God, it's so cute. The buttons are so worth it. I love it. Let's tie a knot here. I'm totally digging this block. I, I say that about every block, but I don't know. I like it. I do think it was cool that we were able to make like a really cutesy block. I mean, I would consider this one of like the cutesy blocks, like a lot of the applique blocks that we've done, but we didn't use applique. You know what I mean? I think that was kind of fun and refreshing. So I'm excited about, about that. I mean, nothing's bad with applique, but I always think there's something magical and, in, in um, that you're able to, piece something together. Yes, little picnic-y basket. I like the stripe and learning how to do it. Oh, the, uh, the, that bias strip. Yeah, that was fun. There was a lot of little unique things, little subtle unique things about this block and it was still relatively easy. So, I mean, I'm down with that. Like I love, I love that when, um, when you do things that look a little difficult, but it was actually really easy. Like we could have, this could have all have been, you know, we, this could have been a sewn circle. Like we could have been doing circle strips to make all these, but it was a totally a cute idea to do it with the bias strip, I think. But yeah, so there we are. I'll show you the little buttons up close. They are just the cutest. I love them. This one's so shiny. So I think that's what makes this one special is how shiny it is. And um, this one, just the cute color, and it has that little square, which goes with all our other square motifs that we got going on in this block. Um, and they're both blue. They're both the little blue. And this, this kind of helps bring in these uh, colors, too, bringing that in uh, to the whole picture. I love um, how these turned out 
uh, as diamonds on the bias strip. The bow tie block, I have to make, I think I have four or three more bows to do on that. I only have one bow finish on that, but yeah, I want to get going on that. But yeah, so around Christmas time, we'll be able to get a lot more blocks done. But all right, guys, I think that's, I'm just going to call it uh, this for the night. We'll just keep it short. Uh, one block done, which is, which is awesome. I'm pretty excited about that. It's got a little puzzle on it. Um, so we'll start fresh tomorrow uh, for block 75. Crazy town. I can't believe we're at block 75. So, all right. Uh, thanks for the nice short, short one tonight. I'm going to flip you around. Or thanks, not thanks for like making it short, but thanks for uh, bearing with a, a little shorter one today, but ah, it's so cute. There, I'm carrying, carrying my little picnic basket. <laughs> ah, all right, thanks guys. Uh, that was fun. Thanks for helping me pick buttons. Uh, I'm really liking these cute little buttons on here. I wasn't going to do buttons. I'm so happy I did. Um, but that's it for tonight. Uh, this will go on Penguin and Fish Movies. Have a great rest of your Saturday, guys, and great rest of your Sunday. I will see you tomorrow evening. Good night, guys. Thanks again.